This is one of the great things about summer, is having her home. I mean, look what she did. She made everybody lunch. She's got oranges and chips and turkey sandwiches. How delicious is this one for? They could dip that in their yogurt. Thanks, India. Great kid over here. He just worked out. I'm losing a little bit of my motivation. I need a goal physically. Well, I have one coming in October when I do Shield Maiden. Um, I'm super ready for that fence to be up. They told me it would be up next week. I'm like, ugh. So, whoa! Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say, I go pee-pee in the potty. I go pee-pee in the potty. Yes, you do. You're so good at it. All right. So tomorrow we are starting USM Cousin Camp. And, oh, my, is he in your chair? And today they still have more summer parties. Sheesh. Okay. Whoa, nice. All right, just did a sweet trick on that. Okay, tell me what happened. Um, we were on Dom's driveway, and then he just said, get off my lawn. He said my lawn, but you were on the driveway? Yeah. Were you on his grass? No, we were on the sidewalk. What did you guys do about that? Remember Grouchy, a Grouchy neighbor over here? He, and he's not even home, you guys. He yelled at them through the ring doorbell. He said, get off my lawn. No, see that thing right there? I know, it's the it's the thing that we have, right? Yeah, I yelled at them through the ring doorbell. Like what? Yeah, he's in don't yell at, yelled at me and tree. Get out of the bush. Because we were on his sidewalk. No, I was on his driveway. Okay, maybe just don't go on his driveway. Because you know what he does all day because he has nothing better to do? He looks through his phone on, through the phone. camera on the ring doorbell. Boom, I, I, and he's just looking at his phone to see when you guys are going to step on his precious grass. Mom, mom, mom. Okay, we're making a little bit of a change. The kids were all fighting over this, so we have now moved it. I know it looked great where it was, but like I had a massive couch in here that no one sat on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we were, they were fighting, so we put it here so that we can all watch a movie together. And it might close off the room a little bit, but you know what? At least they'll be able to sit on a couch together. And you can actually sit and do scripture study. We can do it down here, that's right. Okay, so me and India are attempting to move this bad boy upstairs. Okay, you boys get the rugs. Let's go. <gasps> and Kenya is busy vacuuming everything for me. Very good, woman. Nice job. <sighs> we all just about broke our backs. This is not permanent. Because it's just kind of dark and gloomy with a freaking love seat right there. <laughs> And it doesn't look quite right. All the blankets are on top of the couches, but you know what? They at least can all sit together on a couch. And that couch was just too big in here. Just like this rig is way, rug is way too big. This rig is way too bug. <laughs> they all went to a party. And I'll just be folding clothes. You guys, look how brilliant Xander is. You know how kids are always like, push me! Push me! He's just holding on to her chain here. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys, we just got back Bill and Mabel's DNA. And Bill, Mr. Bill, is 76% poodle. And whatever the leftover is, 20% or 15%, 16%. And no, and, and what, it, hold on. Okay, so 76% poodle and 23.8% 20, golden retriever. Mabel is 70% 70, 70 poodle. Well, well, not quite. And she was like, hold on. Okay, it was about 20% golden retrieval, retriever and 8% standard poodle. So she's got a big old standard poodle in her, which is crazy. Your 72, other 72 percent. No, she's she's mostly poodle, and then 70 percent poodle, and then uh, 20 percent golden retriever, and 8 percent standard poodle. All right. So we're gonna stud out Bill, hopefully, and she's not ready for at least another year. She's like, rub my tummy. What the heck? 
guys, I will. Yeah, I'm on my way here in a minute to go pick them back up from tumbling. I'm telling you, I'm in the car of my life. Hey everybody, this is your gentle reminder that we have two days left until our Gritty Moms four week challenge begins. It starts June 1st. I know some of you are waiting for more information and it is coming. Um, again, this is at your own pace. We're gonna have a once a week Zoom call to make it really feel like a community of moms and women who are really trying to get something out of this and uh, kind of root each other on because we're gonna have challenges every day. Things like committing yourself to taking a cold shower for four weeks. And he'll explain the benefits and the, the amazing things that that does. Um, committing yourself to, I don't know, um, grounding every day outside and the benefits that that gives you in your life. Just so many things. Jeff Meyer is a professional mental coach who has helped thousands of athletes. So we're gonna cap this at 200 women. We only have a few spots left. And I'm not just saying that, there really are just a few spots. Um, and again, this is at your own pace virtually. And I'm really looking forward to it because if he can help these athletes to perform at their best and to be in a flow state where they are killing it on the basketball court, or on the gymnastics floor or whatever they may, may be playing, he helps them get to their peak performance in their flow state and he can do the same for us. We're no different, we have the same goals and we have the same as far as wanting to be our best and wanting to really be the best moms and women in the workforce or in our homes as we can possibly be. But we need the same attitude, we need the same practices, we need the same kind of elite mental training that these athletes get. So I hope you guys can join me because it's going to be amazing and there's two days left. This is also from my YouTube. Uh, so I was at a birthday party, that's why I'm wearing this cute little suit if you want to check it out. It faces me. <laughs> the day is winding down. Ugh, her bark is so loud. You are loud. It pierces my ears. This is where they bond. <laughs> oh, they bond and play. <laughs> she is hyper. Ugh. And I am hammered. Uh, I've got five kids asleep, and the elders are at summer parties. Um, I'm going to show you some footage of Adana. She got to go to St. George, which is southern Utah, with my sister and um, with her cousins. And she had a blast going, jumping off of cliffs at the Gunlock Falls, jumping off of like this floating trampoline in Sand Hollow Reservoir. I mean, just having an absolute blast with her cousins, making these amazing memories. She even slipped on a rock and got a nice doozy on her leg, like scrape. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of that footage right now so she can have that as a memory. Um, she's still hard at work. <laughs> she is um, making sure that she's the dominant diva in the house. And he's just like, whatever. <laughs> Tomorrow is cousin camp. I'm gonna try to get a workout in before we leave because that will set me off straight for the rest of the day. I also have therapy in the morning. I haven't seen her for a couple of weeks, so it'll be nice to talk to her. And I think that's all. But it's been a crazy day, moving all this furniture, folding a bunch of laundry. I went and mailed a bunch of t-shirts and some headbands. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, busy. Taking kids to tumbling, making dinner, cleaning out dinner. Trey has, doesn't feel very good, so I've been taking care of him. It's just like welcome to summer, you know? Pretty soon we'll have swimming lessons and their new gymnastics schedules will start, which are in the morning and some are later at night. Like it all just kind of changes. I'm debating about whether or not to put Xander in football. Oh, it's just a lot. Anyway, we'll be sure to take you with us to cousin camp because it's always a blast. Okay, three. I could have got a hammer. So count on a five for me. Five. Five. Four. <laughs> 